Hey, what's up guys, Tim here again. Got a new tutorial for you today. And today's tutorial actually is a Patreon patron request. So uh, if you guys aren't aware, I do I am running a uh, Patreon page and uh, there are various rewards up there. So uh, feel free to check it out if you like what I do and you guys want to, um, you know, if you like supporting me, uh, it'd be much appreciated. You can check that out. So anyways, uh, yeah, this is a Patreon request. And um, the request was from a picture that this individual saw on Instagram. So I did my best to, um, you know, figure out what it was. And after all the research, it was, um, yeah, pretty much it turns out it's a four strand uh, round braid on buckles. Now this color scheme is a little different from the photo I was shown. I wanted to kind of uh, do my own color scheme. But uh, as you can see, yeah, it's a round braid on buckles. And uh, so this one's not too hard. Um, it does help a lot if you use a jig. But uh, this one, you can probably just, you know, uh, anchor it to something and work on it like that too. Yeah, for the colors I went with uh, goldenrod, orange, red, and licorice. Okay, this one I think looks really nice though, and I've got my colored golden buckle there to match. And overall, I really liked how this one turned out. So uh, yeah, that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so I've got my paracord ready and my buckle set up here. I'm doing the uh, double cow's hitch for the buckles. And tutorial for this method will always be annotated in the description. Got that on uh, this is like half inch buckle, yeah, half inch gold buckle. And I'll list all my exact lengths of paracord. I've got two, rather okay, rather four strands of paracord, and they're fused together. Okay, so I've got orange, imperial red, goldenrod, and licorice. Okay, so how we're gonna start this off? I'm gonna weave on a jig, but just to show you the startup. Uh, see one of these cow hitches here. It doesn't matter which side you choose. You can choose either or. I'm going to loosen this up a little, like so. Create that opening there. And now we're going to feed uh, both strands of the paracord through here. Okay, we're going to go just right through there, like so. And you're going to bring the middle joined sections right there. Just kind of hide them in there, and then you're going to pull this shut. Okay, so this might be a little tricky at first when you're getting started weaving, but um, I found this is a great way of hiding the joins like this. Okay, so that's how we're going to start off, and now I'm going to transfer over to a jig because this will that'll make this one a lot easier, and then we'll start the main weave. Okay, so I got my bracelet now or my working strand set up on my jig, and. Um, it doesn't really matter what order you have these cords in. Um, it's kind of hard to determine where exactly each color will go, but you want them in this sort of setup with two up top, two in the bottom. Oh, and I did forget to mention, you can um, gut the cords for this and um, weave the bracelet with gutted cord. That will create a much thinner, more slimmer design. So you're not really into a thicker version of this. You can gut your cords. All right, so we're going to start off with the orange, and it's quite simple for this braid. You're going to go behind the core, and you're going to come out in between these two cords here. Okay, and then you're going to bring that over. Like so. All right, now, so we did the left side. Now we're going to do the right, same thing. We're going to go behind the core, and then in between these two, and bring it down below. Okay. So we went left, right. Now we're going to go back to the left. Now we're using the licorice one. I'm going to go behind everything and in between these two and bring it around to the other side like that. See, this is why using a jig is so much easier. And now we're going to go to the right side again. I'm going to go behind and in between the other two strands and back to the same side. So to tighten everything, just kind of pull everything together like that. All right. So... Uh, at this point, you want to double check how much slack is behind here um, just to make sure there's not too much sticking out because it'll look better if there's less. But that's essentially the entire pattern. Uh, just keep track of which strands you're working with. So these two on the bottom, so it's the next top. So I'm going to go again uh, behind through the between these two and back to the other side. That Now this one red behind and back over like so. And every so often, um, you see how there's some gaps in there? You can kind of just push everything up and get it to look tighter that way. 
Okay, so now we're going to do the licorice behind between these two, bring that over and so on and so forth. So this one's quite easy, I'd like to think, especially if you have a jig. Okay, so we're going to continue weaving. See every few uh, knots, I'm just going to push everything up. So you definitely don't want too much space in between. It'll look a lot better if you keep all the weaves nice and tight, okay? All right, so I'm gonna continue weaving and then uh, yeah, when we get to the end, I'm just going to go all the way down my core. When we get to the end, I'll show you how to finish it off. Okay, so I've woven down all the end. Uh, okay, so I've woven all the way down my bracelet. And to finish it off, you know, I contemplated sticking all the strands through this cow's hitch, but it's going to be a little difficult. So what we're going to do instead, we're going to see I've got my four strands like this. I'm going to flip my bracelet back here like so. And these strands, I'm just going to bring them down this way, like that. And then from here, we're just going to tie a simple overhand knot, just that over-under knot, like so. So we'll pull that tight there. Then now we're going to just pull the, uh, the excess through, like that. Pull this really tight. See, there's still a little bit of a gap there, so that still works out. Okay, and as you can see, it still looks pretty good on this side. So just um, make sure you pull any excess slack out. And then on this side, pull this really tight. Oh, not that tight. I was pulling the wrong string there. There we go. Okay. So, um, yeah, I just brought the orange and gold back down. And then I secured it with these two, uh, the two red and liquor strands. And uh, that's pretty much it. We're just going to snip and singe our excess, and then we'll be finished. All right, and there we have it. We are finished. So we're finished this uh, four-strand round braid on buckles. Looks really nice. And uh, this one, you know, definitely check your um, color combinations with this one because uh, that'll really help set the tone for this bracelet. As you can see, I went... Uh, with mine, I went with rather warmer tones. I went with the orange, red, gold, and uh, licorice. It's all that kind of orange and red colors. All right. And there's snipped and singed uh, my bracelet. Could have done a little bit better job, but my jet lighter broke, and I'm using a regular Bic lighter, and eh, I'm not used to that. Anyways, time to get a new lighter. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the four strand round braid. If you like this video, feel free to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed already, feel free to subscribe. And also, if you like what I do, guys, feel free to support my Patreon page. You can check it out. It's all here. All right. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye.